Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can take control of your brand campaigns, branded keywords campaign, make more sales out of it, get more conversions, get more conversion value, way higher return on ad spend and still pay 95% less to Google. For the same campaign, same keywords, everything else is same. One little trick and you are paying 95% less to Google on your branded keyword campaign. Now before you do this, before you apply this, I need you to understand this carefully in detail. I need you to understand the context before you actually actually go and apply this blindfolded because this can be a double-edged sword, right? So let's go dive right into it and let me show you what I have done on this brand campaign. This is last three days data versus the previous three days. I have like started optimizing this campaign uh, over last three days. The third day is still ongoing, but you can still uh, connect the dots. I want you to look at, zoom into this branded search, branded campaign, and look at this, uh, you know, these KPIs. Cost, 95%, almost 95% less. Conversions, 11% up. Conversion value, 4% up, 5% up. ROAS by time, 1,859% up. <laughs> Clicks down 50-25%, not a worry. Average CPC is down by 92%. <laughs> Aren't these numbers magical? If you could deliver this kind of performance on a Google Ads campaign, your clients are gonna love you, right? <laughs> Alright, so here is what happened and why I had to do it and how I pulled this off. Alright, so this client's campaign the branded keyword campaign was running without any competitor. Last 30 days, I looked at it, there were no competitors. None whatsoever. Nobody is competing. I looked at last 90 days, Amazon, no, Etsy and eBay competed, you know, like were bidding on these brand keywords. But that was during BFC, I think they had an open ended campaign. It happens, like they have truckloads of money to spend on Google Ads. <laughs> <laughs> so they did it uh, and that's okay but if you look at last 90 days which is kind of you know normal period nobody's advertising against their brand keywords they are the only ones and when you are the only one you know advertiser on a particular keyword why would you set your bids to two dollar fifty cents <laughs> right why would you not set it to the lowest possible which is what it is is it two cents ten cents i tried ten cents and this is what happened so the number one criteria for applying something like this is that make sure you don't have competitors or if you have competitors you you have a monopoly kind of a situation where you know that regardless of who shows their ads on your brand keywords you are going to win the business so either you have the monopoly or you don't have too many competitors better if you don't have any competitor at all on your brand keywords you can apply this uh, tactic and save 95 percent cost on your branded keywords campaign it may not sound significant uh, given the spend but understand that 95 percent of any money that is going out of your pocket if it is saved it's still a lot of savings right okay so let me show you i, I just like I want to show you what exactly happened and I want to prove to you that there were no competitors. So first things first, the criteria was no competitors, right? So look at this, uh, this auction insight, it's see, it's see is like getting 10% and that's okay. That's all right, it's see. But if you look at last 30 days, nobody is competing. We still got 78% impression share. That's not 100%. But that's okay. I think probably the organic rankings are getting the rest of the traction, attribution, not traction. Traction and attribution both. So that's that's the first qualifier that, you know, there was nobody else competing against it, against this these brand keywords. Then this was the existing setup. Brand keywords max CPC dollar two fifty, two dollar fifty. Okay, 
two dollar fifty cents is the max CPC broad match. Manual CPC is the bidded strategy disaster. All I did was I launched a new ad group branded exact same keywords in exact match. Max CPC now is ten cents only. There are some keywords which are not getting into the auction, and that's all right, right? I don't, I'm not too worried about them as long as I am getting these kind of results this kind of result like you know I'm saving 95% on CPCs total cost and I'm still getting more sales I should be happy the client should be happy and you too my friend can apply this kind of a strategy and stop you know wasting money on your branded keywords this is your money keep it with you spend it elsewhere all right great so i hope you learned something new if you are a google ads specialist you have just got one new you know skills uh, one new tactic in your armor and you can use this for your client campaigns if you are a client advertiser this is how we save you money so if you are an advertiser and if you are uh, using an agency to manage your google ads campaign let us take a look at it you know you never know on this particular one campaign i saved 95 percent i don't know how much i can save <laughs> for you right but it's always good to have a second pair of eyes look at it and it's free of cost you go to my website creditppc.com and i'm offering free audit for all prospective customers anybody who who's running a shopify store is running google ads either by themselves in-house or they're using it an agency professional agency uh you know challenge yourself challenge your agency you know let me take a look at it what harm can i do like i can only give you recommendations right i can only tell you that give me read only access yeah let's do it this way give me read only access let me take a look at it i will give you up to 10 recommendations after looking at your campaigns if they make sense go ahead and do it and save money get better results and if at all you want us to manage your campaigns more than welcome you know hire us we are up for business all right cheers